Hello Taurus, we're getting ready to do your reading, so let's take a look and see what's going on in love for you. I'm broadcasting from Chicago, I'd love it if you'd tell me where you're watching the video from. And, oops, cards are weird, Taurus, what's going on? Okay, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. I could feel the cards not wanting to shuffle, not wanting to move, you're in some energy here. So let's see what the energy is for you coming into this reading. Ten of Swords, feeling like you've been wounded enough by someone and it's over. I will read this as a love reading, although it can be any relationship with whom you are, you know, with whom you care about somebody. Okay, Taurus, Taurus, that is crazy. Okay, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Fool card. So you are over, 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 over something or someone that has hurt you pretty badly. We get the person that you are here to, to ask about and or somebody that maybe you really hadn't thought about. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So they're very optimistic, but the Death card. And we get the Two of Cups. So your person is feeling very loving towards you. You're feeling very stabbed in the back towards them or stabbed, you know, look at all those needles. The Ten of Wands is that you've carried a lot of burdens in regard to this relationship and you're not going to do it anymore. Self-imposed restriction, you're going to let go of the burdens. You do want a new beginning with this person. This person feels pretty sort of bulletproof. You know, I don't want to be literal, but when we get the Wheel of Fortune, they just feel like, ah, easy come, easy go. The person will get over it. Yes, right now we're not on great terms, but I love that person. So, you know, it'll be okay. So let's see what we have here. So why do we have the Eight of Swords? Why are you limiting and, you know, just really holding yourself back in this situation? It's, it looks painful. Lot Death card, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Something's gone down that's pretty heavy, Taurus. We get the death card. Okay. So you have decided to put an end to something about this person's attitude. You feel as though they may have cut you off. They may have done it very glibly. I see this as an energy of someone who is taking for granted they can have you back with a snap of a finger, and my finger didn't snap. <laughs> okay. So let's look and see why the Ten of Swords is here. Please give us information clarifiers for the Ten of Swords energy. I'm going to pull three out. We have Page of Cups. So for some of you, if you have an adult child, that could be the issue. We also get the Two of Cups. Could be an adult married child. Six of Coins, though. You know, you've really, you've treated your person with a great deal of love, whoever this is. This Two of Cups is, you know, you're getting the love returned. But we're seeing that you want equal give and take. You didn't get it. The Page of Cups, somebody didn't offer you much in the way of substance. You felt that it was immature. But we do have you in the Two of Cups energy. So we're seeing that you just felt really betrayed because you didn't get what you gave returned and you thought you would. So again, take it as it resonates for whomever it resonates. Sometimes you start out a love reading and realizing you realize that it's somebody else in your life, just for those who are watching, obviously. Ten of Wands. What is the Ten of Wands here? What is this intense burden that you feel in this relationship? The Hierophant energy. The burden of very traditional philosophy, philosophy about love and how it should go. The world card, you know, you've operated under very honorable principles with this person, trying to make things better. And we see you in this world, you know, look at, you're just ready to, you want to go, you want to level up, you want this to get solved, you want it to get healed. Uh, you do want a reconciliation with this person, but you're going to leave it to them. This death card and that eight of swords says that, if, it, if there's going to be a new beginning, they're going to have to step forward. The Fool card is you do see this person as somebody that you love, but you feel like they have a dark underside. You know, there's something, you always feel like there's this alligator that could come up through here and sort of snap you. 
that wouldn't be very pleasant and we get the three of pentacles the three of wands the strength card okay so what I'm seeing here is that you want your person, you have the expectation that they're going to have to come in and they're going to have to level up. Three of Pentacles means that they have to be part of the solution, not of the problem. That's two people and then the third entity is the, the solution that you both come up with. The Three of Wands is you feel this person, you know, you have a very strong love for them. There's no doubt about it. When we get the Fool card, we often, again, there is a theme of a child or somebody who's an adult who's behaving like a child, whether it be a romantic partner. And you're, you're just at this point where you're not going to pursue this. You're going to let this person figure things out for themselves. And if they want to start anew, they're going to have to be the initiator. Okay, but with the Wheel of Fortune upright says that they will be. All right, so let's see what your person here, Taurus, is thinking. I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy. I'm getting Sagittarius energy. I'm getting Aquarius energy. I'm getting really all the signs. Um... Again, Sagittarius energy. Scorpio energy is also very strong. Two of Cups is. There's, so there's a lot of love here. Okay, so why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Your person is going to make an offer. Oh, Ten of Wands. Look at this. They feel like they're carrying a heavy burden. They're feeling very self-righteous about you having caused them problems. Taurus. Queen of Pentacles energy. This person feels a certain level of entitlement to Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. So this is a responsible person, but I really think that they're taking it for granted that, you know, somehow you're in the wrong Taurus, and I just don't see it as that way, not with the Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. Your person, though, feels a Ten of Wands, and I get the Five of Cups. They feel that you owe them an apology. Well... I don't think so. I just don't think so. So let's see why the death card is here. We have the death card in this particular picture is blossoming anew. So we have the eight of coins. They are about to learn a lesson and you're about to deliver that lesson. And you are by being quiet, the justice card. They are going to get their their karma, the justice card is they think that they're seeking justice. They feel self-righteous. But I get here we go. Five of Wands, drama. Sometimes I call that the drama queen card because she's obviously giving him her thoughts. She's looking beautiful. She's looking very queenly. Basically like, well, I'm going to go. It's, it's very kind of a, you know, kind of pompous kind of energy. So, energies can be vice versa, but boy, I do not think this is a vice versa one. Okay, tell us why this person is feeling quite cocky about an ending. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, they want your attention. They're being selfish. They feel like they have not, you've not given them enough attention. That makes sense to me. Five of Wands is when somebody feels like they have to compete for your attention, whether it be a lover. Again, I kind of get that this is more of a family member. I do. If it's a love interest, I just think you're going to let it go unless they do something pretty miraculous. This Two of Cups is somebody that sees you as their a significant other. The Tower card, ooh, look at that. It's like they started a fire with the Five of Wands, which is conflict, because they weren't getting enough attention. And then, oh, well, I'll just set things on fire. And the Ten of Cups. So this person looks like they're in another relationship. Let's see what else we have. We have Eight of Cups, they walked away. So that's what I thought. Oh. I feel as though this person has really tested you to the core. So I'm going to look at the outcome for you. I'm going to pull three outcome cards for you. Let's look and see what those are before we clarify. Okay. Let's see. We have the Emperor card, Feminine Energy Emperor. This card, this deck has two Emperor cards. One's a female Emperor and one is a male. 
and we get here that the outcome is somebody trying to manipulate, guide, direct, you know, all these people. So I feel like this person is toxic. You know how sometimes people will go, oh, they're so controlling or they're so toxic and they're talking about somebody they care about and yet as you sit maybe as a friend or co-worker observer, you think, no, it's you. <laughs> We get the King of Pentacles energy. So there is a happy resolution here. There's some leadership shown. There's certainly the daddy card, as we like to call it, husband, daddy, nurturing energy. The, the emperor energy, though, is somebody who's controlling, quite literally. That it, Those are the gatekeepers. Emperors are the gatekeepers of the rules of society. So they see themselves that way. The Queen of Cups. Okay. So I like that. It does look like there's healing. There's some sort of coming together after difficulty. So the outcome cards are good. So tell us what's going to happen with the Emperor card. What? How is that going to play out for our Taurus friends? We have judgment. Okay, so you've made the judgment. You've already released this. Your, your self-imposed restriction, the death card, it couldn't be clear. You've released it. You're like, you know what? They can do whatever they're going to do, and I'll just wait and see what they're going to do. The Six of Swords, you're healing, Taurus. You know, we're looking at you. The relationship itself is healing by the fact that you're just not swooping in. The Hanged Man says that both of you are in a state of suspension here. Both of you waiting and hoping the other person will do it. But Taurus... I don't see you as being the one. Here you are, Taurus, standing strong, feeling confident. You know, again, this is a daddy card. So again, I'm going to relent. Mother and father of the Zodiac, Queen of Cups. I just have to say, I just really think this is some a family member. Okay, so why is the King of Pentacles here? Oh, the King of Pentacles doubled. Okay, so you're just working on you. You're doing you. You're doing your job. Five of Pentacles. You're, oh my gosh. I have to say, Taurus, that's your ener the energy. There you are in the reading. The Five of Pentacles is also Taurus energy. I see you sort of closing someone off. I see you leaving someone in the cold, and that really matches this energy that your solution is, you know what, at the end of the day, I just don't need to have this person in my life as much. They hurt me. Yep, here we go, the moon card. You feel as though, Taurus, this person has some sort of issues that go beyond anything that you can really deal with. Let's see, the Queen of Cups energy, what does that mean? There is love here. Four of Cups, somebody is bored, unhappy, pouting in the midst of the party. They're not satisfied. So whoever at your last family gathering was sort of not so sociable, shall we say, that's the person that this is. Eight of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that this will move forward. It will move forward quickly, but not until somebody does an attitude adjustment. And to me, I think it's clearly the other person. So, again, for many of you, I think this is a family member. I think for many of you it is love. You know, well, it's always love. It's family, presumably, right? But I get, you're in the energy of the queen of the bow, you, the golden bow, meaning that you have everything. When you bring things to the table for this person, you're really beautiful. It's bountiful. You're giving. You're kind. Let's see what else Let's see what their energy is from the heart of the fairy oracle. What is your person's energy? What are they bringing to the table? The fairy of growth. Okay, again, speak, spoken like a child. Okay, so we even see like a little tiny creature here. So there is somebody that has what seems to be arrested development. For you, let's see the energy. The queen of the day. So you're in this energy of doing what you need to do. Um, working, taking care of yourself. What's their energy? Ooh, they think they're the gift. Okay. Have you ever heard that term, God's gift to women or God's gift to men? I, I, oh, I cringe a little bit. Taurus, you really love this person. This person really loves you. This is going to work out, but it looks like this person has to grow up. 
the fairy of naughtiness that's exactly what i thought the fairy of naughtiness you know the fairy of growth it looks like it looks like a child over and over again grown you know teenager somebody and here you are you are this person's blessing you are literally their blessing without you they just kind of wouldn't have made it so i'm going to look and see what your destiny cards are here taurus what are your destiny cards so your destiny for this reading the energy that you're pulling is valiant courage take action with passion and that's you standing your ground you know you're you're walking away from this person you are holding yourself back from this person okay let's see what their um, destiny is here in this situation navigating by the stars follow your bliss so you know these cards are mostly very positive cards which is good we have to have positivity in our readings because otherwise they're not really helpful but what we see is that this person needs to use their intuition they're going to do without you taurus they're going to feel the pain of it um, they're going to come off their high horse because we do get the moon card when everybody doesn't rush or give them the attention that they're seeking it looks as though they start to come back into reality they start to navigate the spiritual evolution that they need to to really travel at this time so that's what i have for you taurus thanks so much sending you love from chicago send some back Bye bye